everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. I'm your host, Scott Lennox. Got a real cool trip lined up for you after the break, folks. We've made a move from the rivers and creeks and stuff to the back bays of Ocean City. Rockfish have shown up by the Route 90 bridge, both on the riverside and on the bay side. And we're going out with Jeff Coates of Pit Boss Fishing and my good buddy, Wes Pollock from the Morning Star. We'll see you in just a second. I got shorts on too, man. I got That's shorts on too. <laughs> Bye. It's summertime. And we are thinking of you. Yes, we are. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to get a bite today. I am on. First one of the day, I'll take it. Hit it once by the piling when it landed. Came back and got it again. These fish are small, folks. But, oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, buddy. All right. I'm caught in my pocket. Hold on, look, look, look. My rod holder. <laughs> it's not good for TV when people hear you in the background. <laughs> yeah, buddy. A bay or wind? You guys know where the, the, the divider is? Is this like, is this asshole in, in the bay up here? We're in the Chesapeake. Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> Your whole home's got Nice, nice. Thanks for joining us, Wes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a laugh I low and love. You know what's wrong? Mine's bigger. <laughs> oh, it is! <laughs> That's a nice clean fish. It's a good one. Yeah, buddy. It's a clean one. Look at this. Rock fishing with Jeff Coates and Wes Pollitt on the Pit Boss Fishing, and we are thinking of you. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, man. <laughs> fish on, fish it's a perch. on. It's a perch. About the same size. There's one. Got a bite right next to the structure. He's coming at me. All oh, right. Nah, nah. There we go. These resident fish are probably here most of the year. Um, they're school fish. <clears throat> they're in here eating. What do you guys think they're eating in here this time of year? Not much in here, right? Oh, Roy uh, Riggs. Roy Riggs is the perfect thing. They're, they're exactly what they're eating, Jeff. Yeah, they're, they're eating small grass shrimp, little minnows that come out of the uh, creeks and estuaries around the back bay here because the water's warm enough when the tide's low. Um, really healthy fish up and lots and lots of fun. It's no secret where we are either. Route 90 bridge. Parts unknown. Parts unknown. 
You can fish on, fish on. Woo! <laughs> Seems a little sizable. Maybe not. Yeah, or not. Or not. It feels like it. Hey, look, you've caught the biggest fish I've had in the fish report in the last three weeks. That's my size fish. One on the water. Another nice clean fish. Oh, that's a big one, bro. Oh. There we go. I don't want to hurt him. No, no. It's a nice fish. Nice. This early spring go. fishing can be really, really good. So today we're in your bank's boat. During the summer, you, you run pit boss fishing. Out of the um, center console. Yeah, out of the bad influence, right? Yeah, bad influence. There may be a bad influence too this year. I we're, saw that, we're still, yeah. We're working yeah, on that, that still. But well, you're going to have something to take people fishing oh, for do sure. this kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure, Inshore for sure, charters, yeah. uh, close shore in the ocean charters. Yeah. Sharks, dolphin, that sort of thing. Yeah, we had yep. the drider last year, man. We really had fun with those. So we had some really good trips on that. Caught a couple tuna. Right. And uh, took a lot of family trips. Hey, right now, can you run right now in this? Yeah, for Somebody sure. Somebody calls you? Oh, for okay. sure. Yeah. So there you yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a phone number real quick. 410-937-4034. And we are thinking of you. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Go for the release if you want. Okay. Go get bigger. There he goes. Welcome back to the party, Wes. Thanks. <laughs> I've thrown like 50 casts. He has two cigarettes, throws one and catches a fish. Feels like a decent fish. He's swimming at you too. There you go, that is a nice fish. Oh, that's a bruiser for up here, bro. From that? Yeah, look at that. I don't think we need to do all that. That's why you lose it. Got it. Ping class, you gotta snap your new rod, all that good stuff. I'm trying to play just for sure redneck on us. Nice going, Captain Wes. Thinking of you, we are. <laughs> ah, ah. Currently in character, but I'll get out for a second. <laughs> Wes Pilot here, made on the Morning Star. Contact info for the Morning Star. Party boat fishing at its finest. Real big proponents for the Ocean City Reef Foundation too. OCReefs.org. If you want to get involved there, get the packet. 50 bucks? Uh, 50 bucks for the chart. 50 bucks for the chart book gets you all of their numbers. Outstanding stuff just off the coast. They're doing great work for Ocean City and the fishing community. How do people get on board the Morningstar? Uh, you can call our uh, reservation service. It's 410-520-2076. Yep. Um, you can check out the fishing reports on Facebook and on MorningstarFishing.com. MorningstarFishing.com. Go to Monty's Fish Report. Go down, subscribe, you'll get his emails. Lots of people from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania I've been talking to this winter. That's the easiest, fastest way to find out when they're going fishing, how much they're charging, and all that good stuff. Morningstarfishing.com. Woo! Woo! Getting bit on the edges. You're right on the edge, there it is. Yep, yep. Man, I love the color of these fish, man. They're so clean. Hi, Cy. Cy? He's just barely in the in the lip. Yeah. Okay. You just get him in. Thank you. Thank you, man. He was right in the corner. Yeah, barely had him. Oh, I just it's a nice clean fish. I love the fish this time of the year. The water's nice and clean and cold. And the fish are just beautiful, man. Just check them out. Nice and clean looking. Nothing wrong with them at all. No abrasions. No contusions. Wanna give him a kiss? Thinking of you we are. Ha ha ha! I got the hot spot, man. Back to back. Back to back. Now he's a little bit smaller, but he's still nice. He's a nice one. Yeah. He's a little smaller. Right next to the boat. Right next to the boat, bro. They love the sunny weather. You know what I did that time? Maybe it's warming up a little bit. We're in shallower water and the sun's out. But that time I picked up the retrieve like a, a little faster right. to bring it toward to bring it in the boat. I was done. I was done fishing for a second. He nailed it just right in between us and that concrete. Jeff's right. These fish are beautiful. They are super healthy. You can tell they're all excited and jazzed up because the water's cold. He's got his dorsal fin, back fins all flared out and stuff. Excited. 
but they're real lethargic with the bite. Because the water's so cold, they're not going out of their way to get to eat it. It's going right by them. We're letting it get down to the bottom a little bit slower, retrieve. And these little fish, these little 18 inch fish, are eating these five and six inch baits. Yes, sir! A lot of fun. Thanks, bro. High five. I need one to profile and look all cute for your new girlfriend. Your baby girl's really cute, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. No, thank you. No, oh. thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. That was funny too. Inside joke. Great time today, man. You can see the rockfish are back here. Pretty full force. Um, these resident fish start biting better as the water temperature gets above 40 degrees or so. We're at 43, 44, uh, and it's on the rise. So it should be getting better and better. Once it gets about 60 degrees or so, they kind of start spreading out over the course of the summer, but they'll be here year round. We start focusing more on flounder and that sort of thing when the water temperature gets in the 50s and 60s. Though. Uh, but great time. Route 90 Bridge is a good spot. The marshes north of the Route 90 Bridge have been productive too. You get in that five to maybe eight foot range is where we had our best luck today. Some quality fish. You know, nothing keeper size. 28 inches is tough to get to, uh, but we had a lot of fun. You guys have fun? It was awesome. Great time. Awesome time. Wes here is a mate on the morning star with Captain Monty Hawkins. They're actually out tog fishing today um, and doing really, really well. Tell me a little bit about that. You guys are going to tog until when and then sea bass opens. Give me all that info. Uh, we'll start. We'll keep togging until um, May 15th, I believe. Sea bass opens. Um, uh, after sea bass opens, we'll be full bore on that. And then uh, once the flounder show up, we'll we'll hit those guys pretty hard too. Hopefully this summer. That was pretty good last summer, right? It was. Yeah, we had some great fishing last summer. When do they usually start seeing more flounder? Usually sea bass? we'll start seeing um, the flounder real good at the middle of July. Um, sometimes you'll see them at the beginning of the July, but uh, most of the time it's uh, middle of July, end of July that it gets really good all through August, all through September. It's nothing to see a limit of flounder those uh, those times of the year. Awesome. Um, and Jeff, you're running now, right? Yeah, for sure. Big time sea duck hunter. Sea duck season obviously is in the books now since it is we're in done. the spring. Um, but you're doing this now full time. So if somebody yes, wants to call you, you'll do this. You'll go flounder fishing and you'll have pit balls fishing running all summer long. We right? will. Karen and yeah. I love to fish and we're always looking to go. So yes. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. How do people get in touch with you guys? Wes, you go first. Um, you can uh, call our reservation service. It's 410-520-2076. Uh, you can go to morningstarfishing.com. Uh, that also gives you a link to the phone number. Uh, you just have to call, book a spot on the boat. Uh, we reserve 25 spots for sea bass um, and flounder. This time of the year we do a little less and trips are announced via email. So if you go to the website you can get on the email list. Um, but in the summertime we fish every day. Uh, you just call up, make your reservation for whatever day you want to go and assuming the weather's pretty, we're going. Okay. Jeff, same thing for you. Contact info, that sort of thing. I'm going to go talk to somebody real quick. I'll be right back. Yep. All right, the easiest way is on my phone, the iPhone. I love the iPhone, social media, but anyway. <laughs> the iPhone is the easiest way to get a hold of me. I love social media. 410. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Pitfall, pitfallsfishing.com. And my phone number is 410-937-4034. And we are always... Thinking, thinking of home. you. Woo! <laughs> See you next time for another edition of Hooked on OC. Peace!